BrewStew.com. So I found my Nintendo the other day in the uh, in the basement. It's looking pretty dirty, pretty rough. It's got prison tattoos. It's smoking a cigarette down there. Like, hey, hey, remember me, asshole? Yeah. What happened? What happened to us? And it still works. You believe that shit? It still works. It's 482 years old. I've been using it to prop up a fucking table in the basement for the past 12 years. I look at my fucking Xbox the wrong way and it gets a red ring of death. Now, saying that, it's not perfect. I mean, the thing's only gonna work when it wants to. I mean, everybody's got their own little tricks, you know. Oh, blow in it. Cram another cartridge in there, see if that works. And give it a back rub. Give it a reach around, maybe that'll work. And once you do get the damn thing to work, everybody's gotta calm the fuck down because that thing is volatile. You make one wrong move, you fucking fart too loud, and that damn thing will turn into the goddamn Matrix, and it'll glitch and you'll have to start over. And that's why if I got remotely far in a game, I'd lose my mind. All right, everybody, just calm the fuck down. Uncle Rick, sit your ass down before you fuck this game up. I'm on the second level of Contra, goddammit. I'll never get this fucking far. Oh, fuck! I hate you, Uncle Rick. I hate you, and I'm glad your brother died in Vietnam. God damn, were those games difficult. I don't even remember having fun. This is what I remember. Yeah, what a fucking fun time. No wonder why I'd rip the fucking game out of the console while it was still running and throw it against the wall. You had a whole generation of nine-year-olds having mental breakdowns because they can't fucking hold onto the spread gun in Contra for more than three seconds without fucking dying. On paper, they seem like the easiest fucking game in the world, you know. On paper, it's like, okay, that's your guy. Go right. Keep going right till the game tells you to stop and you win. You got two fucking buttons. Go do it. Take any kid off the street right now and put him in front of one of those games. Watch them rip the goddamn hair out of their head. Well, where's the checkpoints at? Well, you don't get any fucking checkpoints, okay? You gotta fucking play all night, you get your ass beat, you fucking skip school the next day, you play all fucking day, you have a mental breakdown, and then you finally fucking beat Mike Tyson and punch out. Don't look at me, that's how you do it. Send the instructions, I don't know what to say. So I think I'll just keep the Nintendo down there in the basement. Keep it for my kids. Just use it as punishment. You fucking play this game until your nose bleeds and you have a fucking seizure, okay? After this, we'll see if you want to pull your sister's hair again.